Hey people, Omoto Mike Adeomi here. Welcome to another episode on Life with Omoto Mike. And today we're on legal matters, yes. And we'll be focused on sexual assault on young children. Um, we're going to be discussing how the Nigerian law sees sexual assault, you know, how the Nigerian law has defined sexual assault, the punishment for uh, somebody who has been, as uh, for somebody who assaulted uh, a younger child. And we'll also be discussing what remedies that are available for somebody who has been sexually assaulted. Uh, need I remind you that uh, we're focused on younger children here today. Um, yes. Today with me again, I have Barrister Faith Bamishe Oyewale. Um, he specializes in um, dispute resolution and international trade. You know what he just said: <laughs> dispute resolution and international <laughs> trade. Yes, that's what he specializes. I actually wanted him to say it himself. Okay, yeah. So Barrister Faith, thank you for coming today uh, on the episode. Okay, he's relaxed. Let me say relax. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, yeah, today we're discussing sexual assault, like I said, and I will be asking him um, questions. So, um, Barrister Faith, please tell us, what, uh, is, what constitutes sexual assault, you know, according to the Nigerian law? A sexual assault in the Nigerian context is broad um, because you can assault by touching inappropriately in maybe some private places, you can assault by molesting, you can assault by physical words. It, 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 it is broad, and that's what sexual assault um, connotes. Sexual assault is everything that is sexually inappropriate that is not rape. Okay. Yes, so let me just say it like that. Okay, um, so, um, yeah, so sexual assault and rape, they are two different things. Yes, they are two different okay, things. Okay, so I, I think I would say while rape is penetration, right? Um, Majorly. Well, yes, the ingredient to yeah. establish rape, yeah. the ingredients are penetration, and consent. consent. Yes. Okay. And, and don't forget that consent, it must be maybe you, you obtain it by fraud, intimidation, or threat. Okay. That's what constitutes lack of consent. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, but sexual assault is maybe touching. So, yeah, touching you. Words of mouth. Words of mouth. Okay. Trying to provoke somebody by maybe by the way you're talking to the person. Okay. And, and it's sexual assault that we oftentimes see in a professional space. Um, okay. So, this question um, if I find someone, you know, um, maybe we're in the bus. This happens very well in Nigeria. Uh, we're taking a public bus, right? And then I find someone stroking himself while looking at me. It ca can, can that constitute sexual assault as well? Yes, it, it constitutes sexual assault. Okay. It constitutes sexual assault because okay. in that way, the, the argument can be that it is, um, um, it is indirect. Okay. But the, 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 the outshow of such acts can constitute sexual assault because... If um, um, an officer, or let, let's say an enfo a law enforcement um, officer, sees that kind of person, the person can be arrested because it is inappropriate. And the person who is probably seated um, next to the person can be sexually assaulted through that act. So you don't have to touch me? No, it doesn't have to be touched. It doesn't have, Before, I can, yeah, it can. doesn't have to be touched. Okay. And as I've said, it can be words of words mouth, of maybe mouth. trying to um, seduce or trying to just look at somebody inappropriately and it becomes a problem maybe when the person has, um, 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 has complained about it and then you, you, you persist okay. to understand yeah okay. um, so um, let's, let's, let's reduce our scope to um, children now um, yes so children can be sexually assaulted right yes of course okay so um, under the Nigerian law you know when can we say that a child has been assaulted? Touched to? Uh, okay. Talked yeah, to? Yes. So, um, as I've said, the, what sexual assault means is the same uh, to an adult and a child. Same to a child. Yeah. So, okay. if, if, if you touch a child, in an in an inappropriate in place, place, it constitutes sexual assault. Okay, let's take the Babai Jesha case, for example. Under the Nigerian law, what can we say that Babai Jesha did at that time? What can we call that crime? Uh, well, you know, it, 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 there is a, a general misconception by people in society as to um, um, 
calling or terming sexual assault as rape, which yes, is wrong. Yes, yes. But from, from my own perspective, I think the offense Baba Jesha has committed is sexual assault on, on a minor. And um, as, as I've said, the, the, the scenario that has been painted so far does not uh, include uh, penetration of, of the young girl Baba Jesha. I, I, I haven't seen that. So what I have seen is Baba Jesha touching the girl in appropriate places as at the time she was seven and then now 14. So, I mean, it's, to my mind, it's a sexual assault and not rape. Okay, so how can a person prove sexual assault? Now, you said uh, not touch, you, it doesn't necessarily have to touch, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes it's just words. So I, I think it would be very difficult to actually uh, prove. Well, that, that's a very vital point. I mean, it can be difficult to prove, but sometimes it is, it is still easy because in a professional space, if a boss is probably sending a girl messages um, or probably sending nudes to, mm. to a girl mm. in, in, a in, in a place of work, mm. and the girl is probably telling the boss that like this is that I, I don't that this doesn't sit well with me, please stop, and then probably the boss persists. Mm. That way, the, the if if the girl can keep the history of the chat, it can be tendered as evidence to prove sexual assault. Mm. So, I mean, you know, in that way, there's no touch. Yeah. But, like, the, the series of communication between the two parties can evince that, indeed, sexual assault has been um, um, committed. Um, that was a beautiful answer. Thank you very much. Okay, so what are the punishments, you know, that a person who has sexually assaulted another person, what are the punishments the person liable to face? Uh, well, uh, right now, I know that there are certain provisions under the Criminal Code Act, I think between sections 352 to section 357, yeah, um, which uh, provide that um, if a male is sexually assaulted and then it can be established, it can be proved, um, the person who assaulted is liable to three years imprisonment. And I think um, if we go down the line of that particular provision, it provides that for a girl who is sexually assaulted or indecently assaulted, the, the punishment is two years imprisonment. So for a male gender who is sexually assaulted, it is three years. For a female gender who is sexually assaulted, it is two years. That's what the law provides. Okay, so, well, in my opinion, I think that's too small. So if I sexually assault a child right now, you're saying that, I, uh, okay, for me, it's just three years, right? Yeah. And if you assault another person who is a girl, right, it's two years. Two years under the Criminal but, but, Code but, Act. But, 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 but why, why, why the difference, you know? Why, why three, why two? Why can't uh, it just be four, four, I mean, <laughs> ten, ten, if you know what I'm saying, uh, right? Uh, because, you know, the thing is whether you like it or not, sexual assaults can be easily committed. Yes, that's what people don't know. Mm. So even without the intention to commit, commit it, it, some of our acts can actually constitute sexual, sexual assault. assault. So I would assume that um, due to the possibility hmm. um, to commit sexual offense easily, the, the, the drafters would have um, um, considered that and then probably reduce the punishment mm. to be what we have today. Okay. So, okay. man, that's that's what I think. Yeah. yeah, but I was my question was actually on, you know, why the difference? Why why 3 2? I mean, I feel like the punishment for the woman is more, you know. Uh, well, you wouldn't know, right? I wouldn't know because to be honest you, you, because you, I was I was you, I, I, I would have thought that it should have been the other, uh, the way, other way around, around. right? For female, because three years, and then the way we see the law, it favors more, more of women yeah, than men, generally, right? In terms but of sexual offenses, now generally. it's uh, it's uh, it's, it's the other yeah, way around. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to reiterate that it is life imprisonment for anyone who has raped another person, right? Yes. Be it a child or an elderly person, right? Well, what the law provides is that. Um, Having unlawful carnal knowledge of a girl above 18 years is what constitutes rape under the criminal code. What of a female child or a male child? I mean, so a, a male child, as I've said, a male child is not, um, aside the, the provision of the criminal code act, 
about a male child being uh, sexually assaulted and the punishment is two years. I don't think there's any There's no permission for it. For rape? Wow. No, 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 no. A man so, cannot be raped. So does that mean that a, 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 a male child cannot be raped? No, a male child cannot be raped. But it happens. We see it yeah, nowadays. It cannot, like, it I mean, it, that can. is under the Nigerian yeah, law. law because you, mean, can, you, can, you can definitely uh, institute an action for sexual assault, yes. but for rape, it, it can because the element to prove rape, as I've said, a penetration and what and consent. So you cannot penetrate. So what you you want to penetrate and the the, the, the there have been case laws. I'm I'm sorry, though, okay. but um I talking about penetration. I think you can actually penetrate a male child. Yeah, very good. That's that. That's a very smart question. But th there have been case laws where the court have decided that. The penetration in question has to be the vagina. Wow. So the, the only thing that a man and a woman has in common is the anus. So it has to be the vagina. Wow. Yes. So, but it doesn't mean that because I have said it has to be the vagina and then you go around to have sex with, um, you forcefully have sex with a girl and then you're penetrating the anus. But what the law recognizes is the penetration of the vagina, just even if it's just slight penetration. And then the lack of consent is to, to, to consider. Does that mean that if you penetrate a girl's um, anus, anus is not is not on that in Nigerian law and the the, the, the decision of the court, a, a penetri vagina penetration is what is needed to be proved. Although if you read the wordings of the law, you will just see penetration. The law doesn't specifically state whether it is anus or vagina penetration. But case laws have laid credence to the fact that it has to be vagina penetration. Wow. And that's that really indeed sort of pushes difficulty in, in the bid to establish uh, the, the, the offense at that's, times. That's, that's serious. Yeah, that's it's, really serious. It, it, it's somehow too uh, I, I hope perverts are not watching this because, I mean, they probably have a new, you know, way to... You will still be punished. <laughs> of Make course. I just tell you that one. Of so do not think uh, we'll find the way around it <laughs> for anyone who probably is trying to use that information, you know, for himself. Uh, it's 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 sad the way I'm hearing mm. this. You know, they they need to be heard. Uh, well, we, without the slightest intention. Or to even the, the male figure, not just children. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I agree with you too. To uh, you are the male person here. Is it yeah. not paining you? Yeah, why am well, I being pained than you? But whether you like it or not, the, so, the, the laws are fashioned in the way the society um, um, operate. So I am, I am a stronger version. So it is believed that a weaker version should not uh, outpower me in any, in any way. But it happens. Of course, I, I agree the with you. The law should be able to provide for every situation. Yeah, you know. that's true. I agree with it, you. It happens. We shouldn't, we shouldn't rule that out. I agree with you. You know? Um, okay. Uh, uh, oh, we've really gone out of <laughs> what we're saying, but let's, let's come back you know, to sexual assault. Um, everything is intertwined, actually. <laughs> so to sexual assault now, um, I want to talk about the uh, using, actually, no, the word is using, the Babai Jesha uh, case as an example. You know, I hear a lot of people saying that it should not be released on bail. And, you know, um, maybe because I'm a lawyer right which i think you would have the same opinion with me what do you think about that the fact that people keep saying that he shouldn't be released on bail uh you know as, as i've said the society in general is guided or is swayed by sentiment so even though we all frown against sexual assault um, or, 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 or sort of the, the offense for which uh, baba jesha is, is is charged for is a billable offense under our law it is Really? So more than sentiment, more than bias, and more than outshow of emotions, we all should also know and be conscious of the fact that Babai Jesha has his fundamental human right entrenched in the Constitution. Mm. And these fundamental human rights should not in any way be subdued. It must be granted the right if, if, if it is so. So my point is, 
This offense in question is a billable offense. Mm. We all know the offenses that are not billable, which are capital offenses. And then the question now is the offense for which Baba Jesha is charged for, is it a capital offense or not? It is not a capital offense. So it should be admitted to bail. But I, I can see that, you know, because of what we're seeing in our society, people are really, are really angry and then feel that Baba Jesha should be in custody uh, pending the time that... Um, the, the trial will proceed and you know it's it, it's just somehow but that's what that's what we have in, in our society mm. okay um but okay looking from the answers that you've been given uh, actually i think it posits that um babai jesha is actually liable to two years imprisonment after all this uh well under the criminal code act yeah it will be the case that um first it depends on the law, on the particular particular law. Sorry, first, it depends on the law that uh, that the charges are brought under. So, if they are brought under the Criminal Code Act, definitely Baba Jesha will be liable for the punishment provided under the Criminal Code Act. So, we have to be, we have to get the charge. We have to know the particular laws. Um, under which Baba Jesha is, is charged for. So it is then we can say that, okay, the offenses, sorry, the punishments that are provided under those laws are what Baba Jesha definitely will be liable mm. uh, to get uh, af after the trial. Okay. Yes. Okay, if found you. guilty, please. Thank you. If yeah, found if guilty. If found guilty. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying your time. Of course, too. it has been a great time. I've been enjoying myself. And you never allow me to finish. Okay, but thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank God that you've been enjoying your time. I knew what you were doing. Um, okay, so. so in conclusion, though, is there anything you'd like to tell the viewers on, you know, sexual assault or something? So first, uh, as I had said in the earlier uh, video that we need proper orientation um, for the members of the society and also I, I, I think that people should not uh, be hasty to to make conclusion when sexual offenses are, are being said or are, are, are being spoken about in society okay. so at least try and verify try and know the fact before you know that this person is guilty or that person is guilty okay. because whether you like it or not there are laws that regulate all these offenses and without these laws you can't be really sure who is guilty of of a particular offense or, or the other so i mean that's just my parting word. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today on the oh, show. We really welcome. appreciate your Thank coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so to our viewers at home, um, if there is anything you'd like to add, if there is anything that you're curious about currently on sexual assaults, please do well to put it in the comment section or you can actually, you know, our pages on Instagram, you can tell us on Instagram or anywhere you can reach us if there's anything you'd like to know. Um, still on live with Omar Tomike, this is Legal Matters. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I love you. Keep coming back. Do not forget to subscribe. Wait, hold on. If you are currently watching this and you've not subscribed, how about now? It's like listening to a sermon without, you know, actually giving offering to God. Eh? Be good. <laughs> Just subscribe, like, and share to your lovely friends as well. I love you, and I will keep giving you great content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.